Today we took our PWC, our STEM kids, out and had uh, Clark Clarksville Gas and Water come and do a demo with the fire hydrant. And it really tied into what we were doing this summer because this summer we had a whole, um, the engineer that was out there today, uh, we did the exact same thing. We had the fire hydrant test and we looked at the, um, the gauges and we saw the pressure change with it. And also it was a great math formula. Um, I know the guy out there today told him how in three minutes, three or four minutes, that's a whole monthly usage for a typical uh, family household. And uh, the kids got to see how the pressure changed from one place to another. Um, in physics, which I teach the freshman PWC class, we're studying about forces. And so we can tie that into the pressure, the force of the water. They even said one reason they don't turn the fire hydrant off really quick is because of that strong pressure. And then they're also able to do some conversions in math that tied into the science as well. When we say um, pressure, or when we say the, the pressure of the water, the water pressure, they can't actually um, picture that in their mind. The most they can picture is turning on their shower and you know they're the last one in the household to take a shower and it has low water pressure. But a lot of kids don't truly understand why that happens. They just know their shower is not as strong uh, when it has low water pressure. But when they actually see, okay, that's the pressure behind the water that's used to give the water pressure to a whole subdivision. And they see that stream of water and they understand, they look at it and the guy says, okay, in three to four minutes, the water you're seeing is what your whole house uses in one month. That starts putting um, what we're saying into uh, images that they can relate to.